Hello and welcome to the PCM Tech Help Show. I'm your host, Craig Chamberlain. In this video, we are on Faster XP 2012, episode 8. Remember, this series debuts every Monday at 10 a.m. Eastern, and there's going to be tons of optimization tips. And you might learn some other stuff as well, not just how to optimize XP. In this video, we're going to talk about registering, I'm sorry, <laughs> defragmenting, your Windows XP hard drive. Now, defragmentation is a very, very popular and a very, very old process, and the utilities that have come out historically have gotten better and better and better. Well, thankfully, there's an awesome free one available for anybody for personal use, and it's one of my personal favorites. Now, there's tons of other ones as well. I'm gonna show you where those are at on my website, and there's also ones all over the place. Just make sure it's got a good review, and you're probably good to go. But as long as you have some kind of a defragmentation solution, you're probably gonna be in pretty good shape for this. So either use this one, or use your favorite one. So let's go ahead and get started. Now first thing I'm gonna have you guys do is go to my website. That's at pcmtechhelp.com. Ignore the fact that I'm using Windows X, I'm sorry, Internet Explorer for now, because that's actually a future video when we talk about speeding up your browsing speeds. And uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to select free downloads. And then once the free download section comes up, we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom. And that's where OuseLogix lives. It's under the defragmenting section. Now you can see I have OuseLogix, Disk Defrag, Defragler, and Smart Defrag. They're all great products. I recommend OuseLogix just because I like the interface better, but that's pretty much the only reason why. So I already downloaded it on my machine for brevity's sake. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the installer here, and we're going to go ahead and get started on installing OuseLogix. Now the reason I'm walking you through this installation is because there's one little part here that I think you guys should make note of, is that it, it, some of these installations try to get you to install junk with them. It's because they're free, you know? So it's up to you whether you want the junk. I'm not going to try to discourage it because that's how OuseLogix makes money. But I wanted to kind of walk you through it that way you didn't blame me when you had junk on your computer. So when it comes up, just click next. Of course, I have to tell you to le read the licensing agreement, accept it if you accept the terms of use. Click next again and again. And here's where the toolbars and the homepage stuff comes in. It is not required, it is optional. So we're gonna go ahead and uncheck those in my case. It's up to you whether you want to create them or keep them. I'm gonna click next. I'll go ahead and take a desktop icon and boom we have installed OuseLogix Disk Defrag. Now in a second, I'm gonna to explain to you what defragmentation is, but the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do after you opened it is you basically want to select this defrag download, um, defrag downs, defrag drop down, and we are very interested in the defrag and optimize section. Defrag is good and everything, but I'm gonna tell you in a second what optimize does. Quick defrag, pretty much useless, okay? so. Do defrag and optimize. It might take quite a bit longer, but it's going to actually do one of two things. Defragmentation is when you've got a file, okay? It's like, like a, let's say it's craig.exe. Craig.exe, when it's written to your hard drive, is written in multiple locations throughout your hard drive. Your hard drive has an index that knows the locations of all those pieces and parts. So just because it's one file, pieces of it are stored in various locations throughout your drive. That's what's called fragmentation. Now when you call up that file, your drive has to look at the index and then it has to go and grab each of the pieces and assemble them, right? So the act of defragmentation is actually taking all those pieces and putting them together. That way it's easier for the disks to come in and grab all of them at once. And then you get faster disk access speeds as a result. Now optimization is, takes it one step further. So we've already defragmented it, put everything in order. Optimization is actually going to make sure that the files that are accessed the most and most frequently are put closer to the center pin of the actual hard drive. Now, I don't know if you guys know how a hard drive works, but it's got a rotating tape in it, and it's got a pin, it's got a needle, and it goes in back and forth and picks up files. It does it 7,200 rotations per minute all day long, every day, as long as your computer's on. When you optimize it, you're putting it closer to the central pin so that way the drive can actually access that file quicker. So you have all the file together and you have it faster at the central pin. That being said, optimization doesn't do much for you if you have a solid state hard drive because there's no rotating and there's no, no pin. In fact, I would even argue that with solid state drives, they are so fast that defragmentation will not give you much of a benefit. But for most of you, you don't have $9 million to spend on a solid state hard drive because they are expensive. So 
And that being said, defragmentation is always beneficial for a Windows XP machine. So that's it. That's actually all there is to this video. I just wanted to show you guys and explain to you how defragmentation worked. It's still one of the coolest ways to kind of, and easiest ways to kind of, uh, you know, go out there and, and defragment and, and get everything sorted out. Now, after you've uninstalled a bunch of programs, you can run this again. And after you've gone through a bunch of different uh, installations, on installations, maybe once a week, once every two weeks, depending on how much you use, delete, modify, create files. Uh, and that'll kind of keep your system in, in top shape. So that's all there is to this video. As always, thanks for stopping by. And remember, this is the Faster XP 2012 series. It will not be the only series that I do. There's going to be plenty of series. I stop saying that. Plenty of video. There's going to be more video series in the future. Just stay tuned. So don't forget to subscribe on YouTube. Follow me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And I'm also on Google Plus, so you can add me to your circles. And I uh, hope to see you guys again soon. And I'll see you next episode. Thanks for stopping by.